Due to mature subject matter, viewer discretion is advised. All right, you little stowaway, this is your stop. Yo, thanks for the lift, lady. I appreciate it. No problem. You just be careful around here. Creepy rumors about this town. Not a place I'd want to be. <laughs> I'm just visiting family for a week. Can't be that bad. Plus, it's Eleanor. We pretty much grew up with each other. Just local ghost tales. Nothing to worry about. Hope this is the right place. Hmm? Huh. Weird decoration. Uh, Uncle Arvo, hey. Layla, what a pleasant surprise. We weren't expecting you for another week. What are you doing here? I decided to come a little early, if that's okay. And, well, I missed you and Eleanor, and I'm kind of getting sick of the big city. It's nice to come out here again. <laughs> Of course, there's no trouble that you're here early. I'm sure Eleanor will be thrilled. Mind the step. Sweet, thanks. Mm -mm, you. Who are you? What do you want to do? Mm -mm 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 knock, knock. You uh, have a visitor, Eleanor. Ugh, oh, Dad. If it's another pet from the group saying we're so excited for you next week, I don't want to deal with it right now. The pressure's enough as it is, let alone everyone saying congratulations. What's happening next week? Ah! No way! Layla! I can't believe you're here like a week early. My favorite cousin. I'm your only cousin, idiot. Um, exactly. So you'll always know you're my favorite. What a privilege. The real privilege is me making a journey out to this crusty village from the city to see you. Uh, you haven't changed a bit. From what I remember, you haven't changed either. Well, Layla, I'll let you settle in with Eleanor. I have a uh, few important phone calls to make. It's a beautiful day today, and I'm sure you two will get around town, so if you'll excuse me, we'll chat later. Yeah, sure thing, Uncle Arvo. Thanks again for letting me stay. It's really cool of you. Of course. Now, if you'll excuse me. I still can't believe you're here like a week early. I'm gonna go freshen up in the bathroom quickly. Just put your backpack in my wardrobe over there and maybe we can go check out the farmer's markets. They're open every day from midday and there's so many good treats down there. I'm sure you'll love it. It's the heart of the community here. Yeah, sounds interesting. Okay, I'll be two minutes. Just need to put some lip gloss on. Yep. Definitely too much pink in this room. My eyes feel like they're watering. Oh, hey little guy. Chill, bro. I'm Eleanor's cousin. That makes me like your step-aunt or something. I don't know. Just don't bite me and we won't have a problem. I know that it was meant to happen next week. I'm aware of the issues that this is causing, but, but yes, just start preparations for tonight. Wonder what event he's talking about. Hmm. Okay, I'm ready. By the way, we weren't expecting you for another week, obviously, so there's a mattress and pillow on the floors, but no blanket. Don't worry, though, I'll find you something. Yeah, sounds good to me. Sorry I'm early, by the way. Just wanted to get away from the city. Don't get me wrong, I love it, but maybe these scrangly little towns have some kind of charm to them. Yeah, of course. I still don't know why you guys ever left. I missed having another pet my age around here. It's really nice seeing you again after all this time. So, wanna hit the farmer's markets? Sure, lead the way. Yay, you're gonna love this. Produce made right here at the farmer's market. Fresh produce.
Excuse me. Come on, Layla. I'm coming. Uh, excuse me. Weird. Same paw print sign that was at Eleanor's house. Oh my dog, they have new clothes. Come on. Coming, coming. Sorry, I was looking at something. Lead the way. Ah, you are going to love it in here. Okay, okay. You'd think this place has got the fountain of youth the way she's reacting. It is nice though. Better than that cramped city living. That's definitely her over there. But don't look. Um Layla, hello. Can you stop getting distracted for two seconds? They have the cutest petticoat over here. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, so they have the cutest little item for you. Okay, just, just have a look. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Not, not really my color, though, Eleanor. Fresh meat for tonight's celebration. You, uh, are you interested? Wait a minute. You're that Layla girl. <laughs> You're definitely going to be interested in the feast we got tonight. <laughs> um, excuse me? How do you know my name? Just take a look, why don't you? You're up next. <laughs> what? startle you. You're the one and only Layla, huh? God, it, look, if this is some kind of joke that Eleanor has set you up to. Okay, it's not funny. I don't know why everyone in this stupid town knows my name, but it's starting to freak me out. Everyone has to know your name for what's coming. What? Yes, I understand. I... Oh, great. I, um, see so you've met Miss Richardson. Yeah, I seem to be meeting everyone in town because they're all staring at me. It's a small town. People talk. Come on, we'll just go home. You think she's ready? I don't know, but we'll find out soon. Keep preparations at full steam for tonight. I think I'll pay Arvo a little visit later tonight. Okay, Eleanor, you want to tell me what the hell that was all about? What do you mean? Um, hello? All the townspeople knowing my name? And I don't know about you, but I could literally feel the back of my head burning from all the eyes that were on me. I don't know why you're making such a big deal out of this. My dad just told everyone you were coming, okay? He's been excited. You're his only niece. We're a close community, okay? It's not like the city. Everyone knows everyone out here, and as soon as somebody new arrives, it's the talk of the town. No one went any harm by it. Well, what about the guy at the butcher stand? He was giving major creepy vibes. That was Jeremiah, and I'll admit he's a bit strange, but... We don't really get crime out here, girl. You don't have to worry. Okay, final question then. What about these pink and red paws I'm seeing everywhere, huh? This this some kind of cult? Oh my god, you're kind of paranoid. <laughs> Laugh all you want, but there's a marking on your house and at the farmer's markets. So explain that one. Yeah, it's called Neighborhood Watch. My dad's one of the founding members, and of course there's one at the farmer's markets. It's to let pets know that it's a safe space if they need help. Any other crazy conspiracy theories you want to cook up? No. I, I guess not. I'm, I'm sorry. I guess you're right. I'm just running away with my fantasies. It's a bit chaotic where I live, and I guess I thought here was the same. But I gotta remember where I am. <laughs> You don't remember a lot about this place, do you? Of course not. I was like three when we moved. 
All I remember is a couple pets went missing, my parents felt unsafe, and we moved. I had to beg them to have let me stay for a week with you guys because my parents are still paranoid about this place. I guess it rubbed off on me a bit, huh? But it's not a dangerous place. I remember that too from when we were kids, but after that things quieted down and life went on as normal. You're safe here. And you can trust me. Oh, is that for me? Yeah, I picked it up at the farmer's market. Thought you could use a bit of color. Haha, uh -huh, very funny. <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that one. So, uh, wanna watch some Petflix? Yeah, sure. I'm actually going to blow my brains out if I have to listen to any more of this snoring. I wonder if Uncle Arho's up. Arvo, I trust you, but I understand the other's concerns about her. Do you really think she's ready? Without a doubt. We've been in this community long enough. I wouldn't insist on her doing this if I didn't think she was ready. Yes, it's happening earlier than we had planned, but she's still up for the task. I'm sure of it. We're going to be commencing in an hour. Have you even told her? Not yet, but after my visit to the markets, I was planning to come back and get her. Speaking of the markets, I have my donation to the All Mother. I'm sure this is plenty. Yes, thank you, Arvo. We should make haste. We both have very important roles in tonight's ceremony. For your sake, I hope everything goes smoothly tonight. Now, after you. Yes, uh, of course. I wonder what's going down tonight. Layla? <sighs> I'm just uh, getting some fresh air. I, I couldn't sleep. Wow, your lying is actually terrible. Well, in my defense, I actually couldn't sleep because of your snoring. Then I came out here and your dad was talking and... Talking? T did you hear about what? No, it was about something happening at the markets, I think. It was really weird. Well, I'm sure it's nothing. We should get back inside together. It's getting late and there's a curfew. A curfew? You're joking, right? Like, we're both old enough to go out whenever we want. Well, this isn't the city. Everyone under the age of 21 is required to be inside past 10 p.m. And it's 11 p.m. If we get caught out here, we'll be in serious trouble with the elders. Elders? <laughs> what is this, 1920s? Look, all I'm saying is we have a little fun. Sneak down to the markets and see what's going on. If it's nothing, we'll come back, go to bed, and no one will be the wiser. Come on, don't you want to get into a little mischief while I'm here? I just don't think it's a good idea. You don't know the town like I do, and please, Eleanor, who knows when we'll get another opportunity to mess around like this again. Y you're right. Okay. Yes, I'm telling you, something weird's going on, and I'm gonna prove that your little slice of paradise isn't what it seems. Come on. You have no idea, Leela. You gotta be proud of her. This is a big night for you. I am definitely nervous though. But I know she'll do good. Oh. Layla, I really don't think we should be here. 
Yeah, but look at this place. I just don't think this is a smart idea. What are you so afraid of? This is your town. You know these pets. Exactly. Attention, everyone. Another year marks another summer, and therefore another special night. The All Mother has blessed us with another year of prosperity in our humble town, and for that, we must give the ultimate thanks. Whoa, this is some serious cult stuff. But this year is a special occasion, because one of our loyal members is ascending to a higher level and giving the ultimate thanks tonight. What do you think the ultimate thanks is? Eleanor? Uh, Eleanor? Uh. Eleanor Williams. What? Daughter of Arlo Williams, one of our senior members, has been devoted since a very young age. Tonight marks her ascension. Because of the Williams family's unwavering devotion and generosity towards our family, she will be the one to make the ultimate sacrifice. And for this sacrifice, what better pet to fill that void than Familia Layla Williams. What? I'm sure as many of you know, Layla was meant to join us next week, but because of unforeseen circumstances, the ritual has been pushed forward to tonight at 12 a.m., beginning shortly. Gather your family and friends as we give thanks to the All Mother for another prosperous year. And with the blood of Layla Williams, may we have another year of prosper. <laughs> for the All Mother. No, 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 no. no. This has to be a joke. This, I knew something was wrong with this town, but, but not this. I can't let this happen. I have to leave. Layla. Keep it together, Layla. You need to get out of here. Okay. My bag. Oh, get out of here, you little freak. I don't have the time for this. Ah, God! And the damn pets are psycho. Thank God my stuff's still here. Layla? Uh, don't, don't come near me. I'll, I'll scream or, or something. I, I don't know. I just, I want to go home. Layla, I don't know what you heard at the markets, but it's not true. How stupid do you think I am? You have their symbol in your wardrobe. I heard what they were going to do to me. What, what you were going to do to me. No wonder my parents didn't want me coming back here. I had to plead with them to get here and... That's why we left, wasn't it? I remember my mom uh, arguing with your dad. We, we didn't want to be a part of this. That, that's why we left. Oh no, I don't want to leave. I don't want you to leave neither. Arvo, you're not listening. Something isn't right with this town, and I'm doing what's best for me and Layla. We are leaving. Please, Liz, there's something incredible happening in this town. I want you to be a part of it. I want our girls to be a part of it. Just think about it. No, Arvo, I'm not going to think about it. I'm taking my daughter, and I'm going. And I'm not coming back. And if I have it my way, neither is she. Mm, it's okay, Layla. We'll see each other again someday. It's true, our parents didn't see eye to eye, but I, I didn't invite you back to hurt you. That might be the family's plan, but I was going to suggest that you join our family. You can call them a community if you want, but they really are like a family to me. You want me to join your psycho cult where you worship some all-mother skeleton in the middle of town? Are you hearing yourself, Eleanor? I know it sounds insane, but the all-mother really has provided for the town. We're flourishing better than ever. 
and in return, we give her one pure soul per year. That's it. Most of the time, all of this is handled by the elders, but this year, my father wanted me to, I guess, prove myself. Yeah, by using me. I'm not joining your sick little cult, Eleanor, and I'm going home. I truly didn't want to hurt you, Layla. You're my favorite cousin, remember? We haven't changed. We definitely have. I'm getting out of here before your dad or one of those psycho cult members barges in here. God, I wish this had gone differently. I'm sorry, Layla. You can do this, sweetheart. We're all so proud of you. Uh, Eleanor. Whenever you're ready, Eleanor. The All-Mother is waiting. Please. I'm sorry, Layla. For the All-Mother.